A law in his name. A legacy for PC Andrew Harper. Success for his widow Lissy and her push to change how cases like his are dealt with. A pledge from government today that Harper's law will be in place next year. I feel very proud um, to be able to say that, you know, we've done it because I know that um, he would be really proud of us. Um, and this is a legacy for him, but it's also for all of the people who, who deserve it, and that's what he would want. My colleague PC Harper got out of the vehicle, uh, ran after the vehicle, I've now lost him. PC Andrew Harper had been investigating a burglary when he was dragged to his death behind a getaway car. His teenage killers jailed for between 16 and 13 years for manslaughter. The new law means anyone whose crimes lead to the death of an emergency worker will get a life sentence, whether the verdict was murder or manslaughter. It's worth remembering the scale of this. We had 10,000 convictions for assault on emergency workers in the last year alone. So this is also about just demonstrating to all the emergency workers who put their lives on the line for us that we've got their backs. Harper's law will still give judges discretion and only in the most serious cases will life mean life. It's about the matter of principle, I think, really, uh, about whether the law is targeting the right kinds of case, the kinds of case where the general public at large would think, yes, this is a case where we should make an example of this individual. We're at the, like the police training college where she was sworn in as a police officer. Um... PC Nicola Hughes was murdered in Manchester almost a decade ago. Her dad watched the Harpers campaign and his heart goes out to them. It, it shouldn't have to take a family to go through the pain and the trauma for the last two years that they have done um, to campaign to have the law changed. I think it should, be, it should have been normal anyway. The Harper family can't rewrite their own story, but are changing things for those who will sadly suffer similar pain in years to come. Peter Lane, 5 News.